Hey, how's it going? Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic fan submission video. Now, this video we have two buses and one giant warship, and the warship is freaking amazing. It has so much detail. But anyways, before we begin, um, if you guys have any of your own creations that you want to send to me, send them to the email address on the screen. Um, I prefer workshop files, but if you guys have maps, I will probably check them out too. But I take priority in the workshop files just because it's a lot easier to manage and uh, I can also remember your guys' names a little easier because it shows on the workshop. But anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to here to the road and we're going to spawn in our first submission, which is a bus or a coach. And the other one is as well. But anyways, we're going to go all the way down here and we have this nice green coach here made by Igor Zivikiak. I, I, I don't know how to say your name. I always butcher names. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna spawn this in. It's gonna be the wrong direction, so we gotta turn it ourselves. There we go. Awesome, look at that. It's pretty nice looking. Pretty simple too. We're gonna hop in. Look at all the wiring though. That's pretty crazy. Okay, we're gonna hop in the driver's seat here. We're gonna press a bunch of buttons and see what they do. So one opens up this little gate there for us to get in and out. Two is the horn, which scared me. <laughs> and I did it again. Three, three, what's three? Oh, I see what three is. Three, I believe, is the engine compartment in the back. Yeah, look at that, pretty nice. And back here, we have the passenger area. Pretty small, but it works. And right here, we have the toilet, but the toilet's a little small. I think he said in the description not to use the toilet unless it's um, an emergency. Because I don't think you can get out if you get back in. But anyways, we're going to close that uh, engine room back there. Four will... Four will open these little luggage compartments underneath the bus. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Five closes the doors. They were kind of glitching there. There we go. Now they're working. And six opens the sunroofs. Okay. Seven opens up the little gate here so that we can get back and forth. And nine turns the radios on. And that's pretty much it for all the buttons. But we're going to take this for a test drive and see how, how it handles on this road. Which is kind of glitchy. I made this road. I, I had it about six times longer. But it was starting to get pretty uh, funky with all the jumps and stuff happening. But anyways, this bus is pretty simple. I like it. Um, that's pretty much it for this bus. Not much we could do with a bus other than drive it. <laughs> so we're going to open up the doors here. And we're going to check out the next one. Okay, for our second creation, we have this other bus here. This one's a lot more realistic than the other one. But both of them are still pretty awesome in their own ways. Look at this one though. It's very detailed. I believe it actually has flashers or signal lights. This one was made by Pat Sun. Pretty nice. And we'll have to turn this one as well. Um, this way. Not still backwards. Turn it the other way. This way. There we go. There we go. And we're going to hop on the bus. Press this button to open up the door. I've never seen a door actually open like that. That's pretty unique. Okay. And then we're going to press 1 to close it. That's pretty sweet. 2. 2 actually opens up the engine compartment in the back. <laughs> we'll go check it out. Alright. Look at that. Whoa. I think that's the crankshaft or the drive shaft or the belt, whatever. The I don't, I don't know what that is. I'm not good with uh, vehicle anatomy, um, but we're going to hop back in, close that, close the door here, and three turns the radios on, four turns the interior lights on that are on the roof, that is, that is a good uh, use for these timers, okay, okay, five is the left blinker, that goes all the way to the back side, right blinker cool I'm assuming he has some tote bot heads underneath the um, bus for the sound and seven is the horn
everyone on the boss. Okay, we're gonna take this for a test drive and see how it copes on this road. It seems pretty fast, and it and it's barely having an effect on our performance too. Sweet. And we just we fell off the road. But this bus is pretty pretty awesome as well. But anyways, Pat Sun and Igor did a pretty good job on their buses. And for the next creation, we've been all waiting for the warship. The ship of the line, I believe it's called. Um, right here. Ship of the line. Okay, so it's an old, like, uh, 1700 battleship, I believe. It has a lot of very artistic designs in it. We're gonna spawn it in, and we're gonna take a look at it. But this one was made by Thunder King. If you guys want to check out his, uh, workshop, you can download this yourself and try it out. It's really awesome. All right. Here we go. Now before I get on the ship, I'm gonna warn you guys that I know nothing about ship anatomy except for like the main mast there, which has a Canadian flag on it. That's awesome. And then there's the bow and then the stern and that's pretty much all I know about a ship. And then like the keel and stuff like that. But anyways, let's take a quick look around. They got nice, a nice British flag, a Canadian flag in the middle. So I'm assuming this is a Canadian ship. Um, and then I'm not sure what that flag is. I'm not even gonna guess because I don't want to get it wrong because I might have some fans from there Okay, here we go It actually it's actually not um, having a big effect on our frames either So we're gonna pop the door open by pressing this button here and Then we're gonna walk right up inside Now look at all of these thrusters. It's insane. <laughs> Holy crap, and I think there's a bunch more back here as well and then we got these, um, these logic gates. I like how he used the logic gates for the ship, so it must be a very recent build. Or he might have just, uh, updated it. And then, um, yeah. So we're gonna head upstairs. I don't think this button does anything. No, nope, it doesn't. Head up to the next floor here. Got a bunch of cannons. Some barrels. Uh, I think this is like a storage room for more cannons. Uh, crates and cannonballs. Nice. Okay, and then we got a keg here for our booze or our rum or whatever and our food stock here And that's pretty much it for this floor. We're gonna head to the next one There's some more cannons here This I think is the living quarters for the crew or the crew quarters and back here is like a uh, Little dining room. I'm guessing or just like a little food stock room and then there's like a little view area back here I like the detail on this ship though. It's very, uh, very detailed. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna head back here. More cannons. Um, I'm not sure what this room is. We got a front facing cannon here. A duck on the ground there. And a ladder up there. But we're gonna go up the main stairs because we don't wanna go up there yet at the moment. Okay. And we're gonna head up the stairs here. There's a button here to open up the little hatch. We're gonna close it again and now we're gonna take a look on the main deck of the ship we got some more cannons crates and all the generic aesthetic wise stuff and back here I think this is another crew quarters and back here is the captain's quarters where the captain sleeps and then we got a he has a personal keg back here for his rum or whatever he drinks his mead I, I don't I don't know what these uh these these Sailors would drink then we got the ship's wheel here. I think it's actually connected to the chair Which is all the way up there Which is kind of weird, but considering how big this ship is it's understandable that you would have it at the front there um, Okay, we're gonna head back here. I think this is just an empty room Yeah, and we're gonna head up here and this is like another deck. It's pretty empty as well We got a bunch of tote heads that don't do anything Okay, and we're gonna head down and check out this room in here. Now, I think this is also another quarters or uh, dining room because we got a table here, some barrels, hammocks, and a stove and countertop. And at the front here, we have uh, the driver's seat up here, but we're not gonna get up there quite yet. We're gonna check out this area here. Uh, it's pretty simple. 
Now, I don't think we can climb up this. I think it's a little too steep for us to climb it. We'll try. Yeah, I don't think it- I don't think we can, really. Here, let's try again. No, it's not- it's not gonna let us. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the ship. We're gonna, um, hop on top of this here, and we're gonna jump in the driver's seat and take it for a drive. Okay, now one, I believe, is to make it hover. So we're gonna press one, and it's gonna start hovering. Pretty sweet. And it'll actually look like it's waiting inside the water. And if we press 2, we will have the forward thrust to push the ship forward, like it's sailing. And look at this. It actually turns like it's a ship as well. I like it. Nice. Sweet. Very cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this... I'm going to let this drive itself. Oh, and I fell off anyways. I'm going to let it drive itself that way. Let's take a look at it while it's driving. Sweet. That's awesome. <laughs> so the details on it are very amazing. If we just hover our camera like right here, it looks like it's actually in the water. <laughs> which is pretty sweet. But uh, this is one of the better hover ships that I've seen. I've seen a few. Um, Komodo Gaming actually made his and his is also awesome. I recommend go checking out his video as well. But this one was made by Thunder King. If you guys want to check out his uh, workshop, you can download this yourself and try it out. It's really awesome. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this little fan submission video. If you guys have any of your own, like you said, send them to the email address on the screen. And I should be able to check them out. Now look at the detail on the back. That's just amazing. Nice. But anyways, guys. Thank you for watching and subscribing, and remember, stay sweet. Bye!